Nazarene University today. I'm Greg Ruff. I'm the Sports Information Director here, and we are here to introduce our new women's basketball coach. In just a moment, I'll introduce Dan Boone, our university president. He'll introduce our athletic director, Mark Elliott, who will present Chad Hibden as our new women's basketball coach. Once Chad is done speaking, we'll need to keep him available for a few minutes with a couple of the media members that are here. So we'll let you visit with him as soon as we get done with uh, some of the media attention here today. As you can see in the notes uh, some of you may have out there or in the, on the website, Trevecca offered women's basketball back in the mid-70s. Women's basketball did not fare very well across the country at that time or Trevecca, so we took a break. A couple of decades later, in 1996, then-athletic director Laura Donahoe restarted the program and hired an assistant coach from Southern Nazarene University named Julie Van Beek. In just four years, the new program reached the NAI National Tournament and reached the Sweet 16 in that first year at the National Tournament. It started a run to the national tournament that lasted until Trevecca went through the transition to NCAA Division II. After nine years, Van Beek handed the reins over to Gary Van Adam. GVA guided the program to the most wins in program history and reached the NAI title game, losing to a highly favored Vanguard University. He also led Trevecca through the transition to NCAA Division II, including a regular season conference championship. Now, 20 years after restarting the program, the keys are turned over to Chad Hibden. You'll meet him in just a few minutes. After looking back, it's clear he will lead us to our first national championship. He's already gotten one. No pressure, no pressure at all. And so with that, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dan Boone, our university president. Thanks, Greg. This is a great day for Trevecca. The reality is if you open the newspaper even this morning, presidents are losing their jobs because of uh, lack of character in the administration of athletic programs across the NCAA. Um, there are reports of sexual violence. There are all kinds of reports. It's possible in athletic competition for people to lose their moral bearing. It's what makes me so proud to stand here as a representative of Trevecca Nazarene University. This is a place that believes that we probably won't fill the world with high paid professional athletes, but we will fill this world with people of great character who have learned to compete and live well and have the kind of life and impact on this world that is desperately needed. We love to compete around here but we never lose our moral bearing in the process of doing that. That's why it's very proud. Uh, I, I, find, I take great pride in uh, having the kind of athletic director that Mark Elliott is and has been and why it's a good day that we have brought to this campus a fit for Trevecca Nazarene University, a man who loves the game of basketball, but a man who loves his God and a man who loves his students, and a man who loves a mission in this world that gives the world the gift of great people who graduate from Trevecca. It's my joy to introduce and present to you, I think, the best athletic director that I know of anywhere in the world today, Mark Elliott. Would you welcome him? Thank you, Dr. Boone. That's no pressure either, is it? Yeah. Um, it is a great day. Thank you for being here, those who are watching online and those who are in attendance. Chris, thank you for being here as a representative of the media. And um, this is a big day for us. We have three words. I'm going to use words today. Uh, three words to describe the Trevecca athletic philosophy. Christian, scholar, athlete. These are simple singular words that are pretty complex when you try to extrapolate out what they really mean. They're complex. Another word that has great connotations for today is an ancient Greek word. Any Greek scholars here? Dr. Boone? Kairos. Kairos is the, has the meaning of the right time, an opportune time. And some translations say it is the supreme moment in time. Well, today that's kind of what we're celebrating the right moment, the opportune moment, possibly even the supreme moment in time, the kairos of Trevecca and Chad Hibden coming together. I'd like to highlight another word this afternoon, but I need to be careful how I say this, so I brought an object lesson for us. This is a ship in a bottle. And so the word that it represents to me, at least the suffix is ship. Think about that word for just a minute. The suffix ship belongs to words 
that are important to Trevecca, like membership, leadership, ownership, friendship, scholarship, more importantly, fellowship, stewardship, and partnership. The two words that best describe Trevecca women's basketball and Chad Hibden coming together in this Kairos moment are relationship and championship. Chad and women's basketball at Trevecca, those are key words to both of them. They've brought them together, relationships and their desire to win championships. Now I've used some words to describe Chad, but words don't describe a man and his family. And so let's bring him to the podium and extend our welcome as he visits with us for the very first time, Chad Hibden. I'm definitely glad he moved that ship. I was a little nervous uh, about breaking that and opening up that. But um, we're here. Our family is here because of the leadership and vision of Trevecca, uh, Dr. Boone, and Mark Elliott. Uh, it's a family uh, decision for us to be here uh, and be at a place that we can do what we are called to do as a family, coach basketball and serve a greater God than we could ever imagine. Um, and for us to be here. We're honored, we're blessed. It's a tremendous uh, opportunity for our family to come back home. Uh, we are from Middle Tennessee. Uh, we've been gone away just a, a year. Uh, that year away uh, strengthened us and it helped us step out in obedience. And as we stepped out in faith and obedience uh, to our Savior, his ability to have a time frame that we couldn't even imagine uh, is as Mark said, perfect timing. Uh, and that's why we're here today. Uh, we're thankful, we're blessed to lead uh, the women's basketball program here at Trevecca Nazarene University. We're going to do that as a family. We're going to do it with passion. We're going to do it with purpose. Uh, we're going to do it building relationships first uh, with our team, with this uh, Trevecca campus and community, with our Nashville community. We're going to do that from a standpoint of we understand that we have a great responsibility to build champions for Christ. And that's what we try to do in our program is focus on being a champion. Focus on putting yourself in an environment to stretch and challenge yourself so that you can be great. You're great. What are you called to be? What are you called to be as a basketball player? What are you called to be as a student? What are you called to be as a player? And more importantly, what are you called? What's your niche in the mission field that Jesus Christ has you set forth into? And, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we, we establish those things with four pillars, give, grow, love, and win. Uh, it's just a simple way uh, to make sure that we're focused uh, on be being Christ-centered and being a champion for Christ, being a champion in the classroom, in the community, and, of course, on the court. Uh, Greg put a little pressure on us uh, about winning championships. Uh, we're going to have that expectation. But the expectation will be for us to do it the right way and at the pace and time that is conducive to our student athletes. Uh, we're not going to put a championship drive above things that are more important, with, such as their academic success, uh, their faith, strengthening that. Uh, and, and that's what we want to do. We want to grow uh, our program, and most importantly, the young women that are in our program in a holistic approach. Uh, we want to foster that. We will challenge them. One of the little things that I always tell them, if you don't want to grow, it's going to be hard to enjoy the process and the journey from our program. We will not, our coaches, myself, our family, the support from Trevecca and, and Mark and the athletic department, we're not afraid to step on the toes of our student athletes if it helps them continue to be stronger in their faith, to defend their faith, and ultimately be a better person, a better student, uh, and a better young woman to go out and serve uh, in the area that they would be called to serve uh, once they uh, are, or graduate, or even now, you know, currently what they're doing uh, in, their, in their personal time and in their time uh, that they get away from basketball. We know basketball takes up a lot of time, uh, but there are so many more things that take up their time that they need to make a difference in, and that's what we want to do. We want to put an imprint on them, support them, foster them uh, into being a champion into getting their great, whatever their great is. Every young woman in our program has a uniqueness and a beauty and a talent and an ability that is God-given. It's our quest 
as the leaders of the women basketball program to foster that, to challenge them that, to be at their best in whatever they were called to be. So we are so thankful, so blessed, excited to be here. We're ready to get going. Uh, once again, the vision that they have is in line with the vision that I have. Uh, it's why that I stepped out of public school, high school basketball to seek something greater, to be able to serve something greater than just a game or one individual or even a group of individuals. It's to take those things and serve our greater God for a greater purpose, and that's why we're here. Thank you. I'm still short, as you can see. Uh, we're going to get with uh, Chris and David Beauclair and anybody else that's here that wants to talk with, uh, with Chad a little bit, and then he'll get to greet all of you guys, and thank you all for coming today.